vaping friends. Ah, yes, I'm back. I am still alive. Stop asking me, because yes, I am still alive. Uh, it's just been a very chaotic end of the year. So we're going to kick off 2016 right with a fresh video on Monday. Boom, here you go. Today's video is about this box mod. This is the Ranger by Wrap Mods. Um, I did receive this as a birthday present from my husband uh, in late November, so I have had some time to get to know this and use it. Yes, we did purchase it. It was not sent for review. Uh, so yeah, I was just, I have some talking points, like a list of notes that like walks through specs and things um, that I'll read from, but then after that we'll kind of get into like my personal experience with it and they did have a couple of cons but they're pretty minor so let's just hop in you're my cat chewing over there that's kind of annoying <laughs> but it happens okay so this guy right here houses an OKR T10 board um, I'm not really familiar with different boards but uh, that's what is in here and that is capable up to 80 watts of output, I believe. Um, even though this isn't a variable wattage mod, you can actually adjust like the voltage because it has a little potentiometer. We'll get into that in just a minute. This does house, this is a Hammond box mod. Um, it does house two 18650s. Uh, it does have an LED display on the inside right above your batteries. Uh, magnetic closure is pretty tight. Um, I, I think on the inside of the door there is like a little tiny indicator. I don't, I did, this is not even going to show, but there is a little corner of this that has a very, a different marking. So you know which side goes down. I'm assuming that that's what that's for because I noticed when I put the door in the other way, there's a lot more play on the door than if I put it with the indicated side down. Dual 18650. Um, this is a series box mod, so it does not run parallel. You do actually get the full voltage of two batteries in series. We'll get into that again with a potentiometer. So the potentiometer runs from 1 to 100, and that is not 1 to 100 watts. That is just the, the you're pulling the potential from your batteries. Thus, it's called a potentiometer, I'm assuming. I usually rock this thing at about 40%, and the cool thing with that is this LED display on the inside, then when you fire, will tell you how many volts are going to your atomizer. So, for example, if we crank this potential, that just read 4.3, did I read that right? 4.3 volts. So if I crank this up to about 60% and then fire, you'll see it's now going to fire at 4.4. So, if you turn it all the way up to 100%, uh, I never really do that, but it will read out 5 point whatever I have in my batteries currently. Okay, so that's the potentiometer. Turn that guy way back down, just because that's where I like it. Um, from what I understand, it's a very similar potentiometer to like a hexome. I don't have a hexome. So I don't have a whole lot to compare that to. Back down to 4.09 uh, volts. Okay, so that's a potentiometer. That's how it works, as I understand it. That is hot. <laughs> okay, um, along with the LED display on the inside, whenever you do fire this guy, it does have an LED light uh, ring that runs around your fire switch. See, yeah. Let's just heat up that tugboat, why don't we? Um, this does have a reverse polarity protection, which I also believe is like reverse battery protection. So if you put your batteries in upside down, um, that will not fire, thus ruining your mod. There's also on the battery sled indicators on which direction your batteries go. Um, they're kind of a pain to get out at times, especially whenever you're trying to speak clearly and thoroughly in a video. This side's marked positive, negative. This one's marked the opposite, positive, negative. So just make sure you always put your batteries in properly. There's no ribbon to get your batteries in and out. 
um, which I originally thought would be kind of a problem, but for me it's not. Uh, it's just not a quick in out. You have to just pay attention to your batteries when you're pulling them in and out so that they don't get dinged and dented like, you know, 18650s have a tendency to do. This also has um, along with the ver reverse battery protection, it has over current and over wattage protection as well as, I guess it would be over voltage, as well as under voltage protection. So if your batteries run down, um, I don't think it's completely down to zero or dead, but it will not fire if your batteries get down past a certain volt. Uh, also on the inside, we'll open it back up. If you'll notice, there are two like toggles, two switches in here. The bottom one is like a master on off, so that's how you would turn it off. You flick that guy down and it won't fire. So really convenient for, you know, throwing in your pocket or handbag or, you know, if you're just setting it down for a little while, you can turn it off completely, which is very handy. The top toggle actually has three positions. So the top position puts you in your, uh, I guess that's where the, the potentiometer would be activated, so that's what's going to read show you what your current voltage is if you use the potentiometer. The middle set, the middle option here on the toggle just turns your screen off. It'll still fire so it's kind of like stealth mode although if you have your battery door sled on sled if you have your door covering your batteries you don't see that screen anyway. And then the bottom option on this top toggle will just give you a full uh, full battery life range whatever so you're not running it then at the 40 or 60 or whatever you set your potentiometer to you're just pulling straight from the batteries and not um, adjusting them not using them on the adjusted mode does any of that does that make sense I hope that makes sense it makes sense in my brain how it works anyway moving on uh, this guy also does have a really nice 510 connector at the top. I'll wipe some liquid off of it. This is not a Fat Daddy Vapes uh, connector though, but it is spring-loaded and this is the Veritube 510 spring-loaded connector. I've never had a problem with it sticking. Everything I've screwed on here fits and fires. It's not giving me any kind of problems whatsoever. Gotta drip that. What else? I did mention that this is a Hammond box um, did I not write down? Nope. It's, it's a Hammond certain number box. Um, they've got different varieties and sizes, but what these guys do, what Raf Mods does, is they have these custom, I guess like CNC machined, so that it sits perfectly flat. You know, most Hammond boxes have like the lean, they call it the Hammond lean. If you set that guy down, it sits perfectly straight and that is awesome. That's probably one of my favorite features of this is that they actually take the time and the care to make their product something that's just superior. It's just a nice added feature that they do, that they offer. Um, I did mention, did I mention the magnetic door? Yeah, it is magnetic. Um, like I said, I told you about the, the directions of them. Uh, I don't, it, it has some play, I guess, but whenever I'm holding it and using it, that, that play does not really bother me at all. I tend to hold it like this and then fire with my index finger. Obviously, you can, too, hold it this way and fire it with your thumb. Neither way, either way I hold it, that play on the door does not, like, affect, it doesn't affect the way that I use it. Just throwing that out there. Um, I did read on the website, which I will link below and we'll talk about here in a minute, um, that the internal wirings and components do have an extra additional coating on them that will keep them protected. Like if you have a, a leak or something, you know, you get some liquid in here or heaven forbid, like a droplet of water, it's not gonna go in there and fry out your chip um, I definitely would not submerge this guy, nor should you with any mod for any reason. Um, but it does have that, which is kind of cool. Okay, 
Um, let's get into some added like colors and things. They do have multiple colors and multiple like LED colors that you can get. They also offer like custom engraving if you wanted this back door or maybe it's the front. I'm not sure where on the mod they would offer custom engraving, but you can have that done. Uh, mine does not have any of that. They are all serialized, so on the side here it they do engrave Ranger um, and then your serial number right under the potentiometer there. But like I said, I do not have custom engraving. I'm sure that that's something you know you, you could email and discuss with them on the location and like if you want your company company logo or something on it, you could. So the different color options, obviously I have the Tiffany blue with the white LED. Um, they do have a white box with a white LED. You could get blue on blue, green on green, red on red, and then they also have black boxes that they offer the LED colors green, red, and blue. Again, I'm pretty sure that you can get in touch with them for like more customization, like if you want a white box with a blue LED option, I'm sure that they could do that too. What I've noticed is that whatever LED color you have on your fire switch is probably going to be the same LED that like the display color that you get as well. I don't know. Like I said, we didn't order this custom. Um, this was just ordered as is. So I don't. You, absolutely, if you if you're interested, you can get in touch with them and discuss all the possibilities for customi customizing your own mod. Now these are made by a husband and wife team here in the U.S. They are located in California. Um, and from what I can tell, they only sell this on one website, and that is www.illum.com. And that is spelled I-L-L-U-M-N, I-L-L-U-M-N.com. Again, I will link them below. Um, the husband of this team from what I understand, is uh, was an electric an electrician, electrical engineer. I think he was just an electrician. Um, so I absolutely trust that every component in here is done well and clean, and I trust that this is not, you know, gonna misfire or wires aren't gonna come off or fall out. Or there's, I'm not gonna have any safety issues using this because they know what they're doing. We'll just say that. <laughs> and they are on Instagram. I follow them on Instagram. Um, they just seem like a really fun couple. Uh, and they're just always posting cool things about advocacy and making sure that there's no like underage vaping. They, they try to make sure that none of their products are sold to underage vapors, yada, yada. So go check them out on Instagram too. I will also link them down below. But they can be found at Raff Mods. I believe that is all one word spelled R-A-F-F-M-O-D-S. So go check them out. Go find them. Um, oh, I was also going to mention on their Instagram page, they do post, uh, they have like scratch and dent sales because these are kind of pricey. I will throw that out there now. Um, they are a little pricey, but they do offer scratch and dent sales where they've got some that may have some minor flaws. Not, it doesn't affect how they operate and work. Um, but they might just have like a little scratch or a ding or something like duh scratch and dent so um, They usually are pretty good about posting things like that on Instagram mm. I'm out of ice water. Excuse me. All right, so I do have two cons Two and that's it. The first one is gonna be the price um, these sell for 185 bucks So it's a little pricey um but like I said, this was a birthday gift, so it was like a special purchase. I know not everybody spends that kind of money on gear and vape equipment. I certainly don't on the regular. This is probably of our entire collection, uh, the most we've spent on a single device. So, you know, you can weigh your options there, 185 bucks. Their scratch and dent stuff, I think goes for like 110. Um, and then I have seen periodically that they run like sales, seasonal sales. So, you know, keep an eye out for any kind of deals you can. And then my final con, and this is very easily fixed. 
the batteries on the back of this door, they, there's batteries in the, er, batteries, there's magnets in this, in the door, in all these holes. But in the mod itself, these are just little screws, little flathead screws. And I noticed that one of them appeared to kind of be sticking out of the mod, so I did take a screwdriver and tightened it down. However, if you tighten it down all the way, it fall, it goes so far down into the mod itself that the batteries will not grab them. So these screws do kind of sit a little loosely in here, um, in the sense that they're not tightened down completely. They, they don't fall out. Um, but they're kind of just like free floating in their threads in there. They're not tightened and they're not all the way loosened to sit in the appropriate place. Um, my quick fix for that, I haven't done this yet, but would be to maybe dab just a tiny little bit of epoxy on the, like pull the screw out, dab a tiny bit of epoxy on it, and then screw it back into your desired location and just let it dry there. I don't... Like I said, I haven't done that. I've thought about it, but I have not done that yet. That would be like maybe the only thing of this entire mod that I would change is just those screws that are not completely tightened that are just sitting in there. So, yeah. Other than that, this thing has just performed like a dream for me. Um, I absolutely love this thing. After experiencing it, Absolutely, yes. I would go back and spend $185 on a Ranger. I just, it's that good, in my opinion. I haven't had any problems with the, I believe these are powder coated. Power or Cerakoted, powder or Cerakoted um, finish on these. I have no dings or scratches in it after a month's use. Um, I have, you know, I, I have a tendency to over drip, so I have over dripped an RDA on this thing and gotten a little leaking, but with the lip on the inside of the Hammond door here, uh, it usually catches it, so I've not had any problems with liquid getting down into the components of the internals. So there you go. That's my first review back from the dead. <laughs> Is RAF Mods, the Ranger. Yes, I approve. I love this thing. This is probably one of my, I've got like two go-tos at this point, and this is one of them. So thank you so much for watching, and welcome back to my channel. If you've missed me, I'm sorry, but I'm here now, and I am working up a schedule to have more regular videos here in the new year. I plan to pack my schedule all around and just stay busy this year. Stay busy and get fit again. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.